Today, Seaboard Orlando has announced Icebreaker, their brand new launch coaster coming in 2020. Today, I will be giving my thoughts and analysts on Icebreaker. So first, I'm going to say this looks like an absolutely incredible coaster. It doesn't look like it's going to be that long of a ride, but it looks like it's definitely going to be a good ride. It looks like this is going to be made by Premier Rides, and because it has like the same type of track, has the same type of trains, I think this is made by Premier Ride. Um, this way, it kind of reminds me of Pantheon. Like It has that same type of element, and then it goes backwards. Not sure if it goes upside down. They didn't say like how tall it is. All we know, it is the steepest beyond vertical drop coaster. Um... It just looks like a really fun coaster. Um, I think this is a great fit for Seaboard Orlando, definitely. I think they definitely did need a launch coaster, and I think they did a great job with this. I thought that, like, a couple years ago when Tigris was released, I thought, oh, they should have added that to Seaboard Orlando. Well, now that you think about it, I'm pretty glad they didn't because Seaboard Orlando now has this absolutely amazing launch coaster. Um, It looks like a really decent coaster and definitely... I think it's going to be one of the best launch coasters in America. It's too bad it has comfort callers, but I don't think it will matter that much. The coaster this kind of reminds me most of is Full Throttle at Six Rides Magic Mountain. I don't know why, it just does for some reason. But this ride still looks absolutely amazing. It looks like a really fun coaster, and I think this is a great fit for SeaWorld Orlando. So yeah, keep coasting on my coaster demons. Peace out.